Hey guys, I'm Kate. Welcome back to my channel and today I'm going to be talking about a piece of writing advice that I really don't like, that I don't agree with. And I wanted to open it up to hearing y'all's viewpoints on this because my mind can theoretically be changed and it's almost like I feel like part of my brain just isn't quite getting the advice. So yeah, let's discuss. During my research into George R. R. Martin's writing routine, I stumbled across his FAQs on his website and one of the questions that's asked is, I want to be a writer, how, how do I do that? <laughs> and part of the advice he gave contained one of my pet peeves and that is just to learn how to write a novel you should start with short stories. Let me go ahead and read you the full quote because I do think within context his advice makes a little bit more sense but I still just don't agree with like the heart of it. So yeah, okay. Given the realities of today's market in science fiction and fantasy, I would also suggest that any aspiring writer begin with short stories. These days I meet far too many young writers who try to start off with a novel write off or a trilogy or even a nine book series. That's like starting in at rock climbing by tackling Mount Everest. Short stories help you learn your craft. They are a good place for you to make the mistakes that every beginning writer is going to make. And they are still the best way for a young writer to break in since the magazines are always hungry for short science fiction and fantasy stories. Once you've been selling short stories for five years or so, you'll have built up a name for yourself and editors will start asking you about that first novel. Okay, so I should say first off, I don't know when these FAQs were published. I don't know if he's updated them since. And I obviously cannot talk to any of the publishing advice. He also has a bit uh, just before that, which sort of discounts fan fiction as a way to learn writing. <sighs> we're not gonna get into that <laughs> today. Instead, I wanna backtrack to the short stories as a means to learn how to write a novel. Okay. There are a lot of reasons I don't like this advice and we'll get into the more nuanced additions that George made about it, but first off, people who want to write novels often read novels. Much in the same vein that you should read broadly if you want to be a writer, but also definitely, definitely, definitely read in the genre that you want to write in in order to become a better writer of that genre. Why do we give the advice to start in short stories when often these people don't read short stories. I'll actually put a poll up in the cards and please do comment down below and let me know if you read short stories because I found that amongst my writer friends, those who write short stories often read way more short stories than just the people who write novels. And in fact, among my novel writing friends, if you ask them how often do they read short stories, it would vary from maybe sometimes to like never. So that's the first reason I hate it. But the second reason I dislike this advice is because they are vastly different skill sets. Writing a short story and writing a novel are different things. <laughs> it's in a similar vein to how I've struggled to write a screenplay versus the many drafts of novels that I've written. Even though I do think all of that knowledge and the work I've put in to write the novels will certainly help writing the screenplays, the way to learn how to write a script is by writing scripts. I've even personally found that there are some differences in writing novels versus novellas. Of course, in all of these different types of stories, all of these different lengths of stories, you want to keep the character growth and depth and the connection that the readers feel to them. So there is clearly some crossover, but I maintain that learning how to storytell is the consistent message here. Surely practice in any of these will make you a better storyteller, which is a transferable skill. Just like being a hugely popular science fiction novelist isn't going to make you a good writer of the romance genre. But knowing how to weave a story in general will certainly give you like a higher starting ground than if you didn't know how to at all. But I want to give the advice to someone who wants to be a romance writer to try writing science fiction as a means of practice, you know? Now let's go back to George's advice to kind of the specific science fiction and fantasy writers and we're gonna ignore the part about trying to start off with a novel right away and focus in on the trilogy or the nine book series. Because yes, learning how to finish something is a necessary skill. I have a ton of writer friends who have been writing for a very long time who don't yet have the skill of the finishing of a draft, right? And if that is the skill that you are lacking, then obviously a short story is shorter. It would take less time to finish it. So in that instance, I can see why that's the advice that you would need. But again, what you're really learning is the transferable skill of finishing something, not necessarily how to write novels. As a quick aside, I do think it's one of those funny things that you can see there's a little bit of stereotypes within people who write certain genres and certainly for the fantasy writers out there or the beginner fantasy writers, it is so common to have these vast worlds and so many characters and not be able to actually put it into like a comprehensive thing because it's just so much. <laughs> what are some tropes for other writers of different genres? Now moving within George's quote, he basically says that short stories are a good place for you to learn your craft and make the mistakes that all new writers are inevitably going to make. <sighs> sure, I can see merit to that, but I think it always comes back 
to what sort of skills and mistakes you're attempting to learn. And novel writing has its own rules and structures that short stories don't and vice versa. So I think generally writing helps you become a better writer and writing novels helps you become a better novel writer. And then we won't really touch on the quote about fan fiction because I love fan fiction and I'm clearly biased. And I do think it's a good way to learn how to write, but maybe it's in the same way that it teaches you a different set of skills. If you want to be a writer of original stories, you have to practice by writing original stories. Okay. I think I'm done. <laughs> now that I've sort of ranted, I would love to hear what you guys think. Because again, George R. R. Martin is not the only famous writer to give this advice. And he has certainly been writing for longer than I've even been alive. So this could be great advice. <laughs> I mean, I, well, could it? <laughs> I would just love to hear different opinions. Perhaps I'm thinking about this in a very specific way. And I just need to hear a different explanation. I don't know. Yeah. I am willing to have my mind changed on this. And yeah. Thank you guys so much for watching and thank you especially to some of my new patrons this month. Subtly Nerdy, Sarah Underwood, Naomi Louise Jenkins Cooper, Matthew Bridgewater, Ida Burke Smith, and Christina. And I will see you all very soon with a new video. Bye. Actually, I will put a poll up in the... I'll actually put a poll up up in... I'll actually put a poll up in the cards. So loud, I don't think I ever realized.